Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we discussed the submodulization technique, subroutine. Now, in this video, we will do the practical for the same. For this field catalog part, we will use the modulization technique, subroutine. But now we all know the subroutine always, always starts with which keyword perform. And I'm writing perform. Now I'm not going to any separate transaction code to create the subroutine. I'm creating in the ABAP editor itself. This is what we covered. Yes, there's no separate transaction code in the ABAP editor itself we are creating subroutine now i will give some name to the subroutine you can give any name suppose i am giving my name of the subroutine is prepare underscore field cat now we can give three types of parameters tables parameter using parameter changing parameter in our current requirement in our current requirement we have using and changing are applicable so how many parameters we are using we are always always using these three parameters yes values are changing that we can accept yes but we are always using three parameters what are those three parameters? Column position, field name, and selection text. And ultimately, that data of these three, data of these three things, you are passing to which internal table? This particular internal table. So we have how many using things? We have three using things. And ultimately, which parameter or which internal table we are changing? LT underscore field cat. So we have three using parameter and one changing parameter. So how I will write? I will simply, simply write using. We are using these three parameters. And with the help of these three we are changing this internal table because the data of these three things we are passing to this internal table. So what is the first using? What is column position? One. What is the field name? VBELN. Now what is the third thing? Third thing is selection text text hyphen zero zero one now i will go for changing i am writing changing so which internal table we are changing lt underscore field cat i will put dot now i will create this subroutine now whenever you want to create this subroutine just double click on the name of the subroutine. Yes, it is asking, do you want to create the subroutine? Yes, I want to create the subroutine. Yes. Now this part is important. Now here you have two things. You can see two things are coming. Now what SAP is asking, do you want to insert the logic of subroutine? Do you want to include the logic of subroutine into the main program? Or do you want to create a separate include program for the same? It is totally your wish which approach you want to follow. I will show you both the approaches. Suppose, firstly, I am using suppose main program or this master program itself. It means whatever the subroutine logic is there, yes, it will be it will be included included in our main program itself. Suppose 
I'm using the main program. Whenever I will go for OK, have you seen in our main program itself, we got the form and end form statement. This is our name of the subroutine we have given. We have how many using? We have three using and we have how many changing? We have one change. So whenever I choose the main program, so in the main program itself, we got the form and end form statement. Suppose you do not want to include into main program. You want to create a separate include program. Then what you can do in that case. But it will not make any difference, nothing. Suppose I will double click here. It is asking, do you want to create the subroutine? Yes, I want to create. Yes. Now, I will go for separate include program. Now, the important part here. See, I have the latest system, latest system. And have you seen in my system, the first word is GG. But you can never, never create a program which is not starting with Z. So I gave the name starting with Z. In your system, if you have the old system and if you do not have the latest system, you will automatically get the first word starting with Z only. So there's no need for you to change as I have the latest system and in the latest system, G is coming, but I cannot create a program starting with G. I have to give Z or Y. So I simply put the first letter Z. So it might be the case. There's no need for you to change. So whatever the Z is coming, you can just select and do continue. I will select and I will go for OK. I will go for OK. Now you can see. We have a separate include program and in this include program, we have form and end form and in between this, we will write the logic. Just see, now I will give you more clarity. Previously, form and end form statement is in this program itself. Now the form and end form statement is in that include program. So have you seen now that include program is the part of our main program. Just two different approaches. In the previous case, your form and end form is in the main program itself. Now we created a separate include program and we have our form and end form is there. But ultimately in that case, this include program should come into this particular program because form and end form ultimately is a part of this particular program only. Now we will proceed further. Now what SAP is saying. Before that, I will go to one point here. See, these parameters Whatever the parameters you are passing with perform, you are passing with perform. They are called as actual parameter. It means one VBELN text hyphen zero zero one LT underscore field cat. They are called as actual parameter, actual parameter. Once I double click and whatever the parameter you are getting with, you are getting using form, they are called as formal parameter. This is just to distinguish. So these parameters, whatever the parameters is with perform, perform. Ultimately, it is subroutine. So why, why we are going for two different things so we can distinguish. These are our for these are our actual parameter, actual parameter. When I double clicked, this will be called as formal parameter, formal parameter, actual parameter, formal parameter. Now, 
Now, next important thing. We should always follow the naming conventions which is given by SAP. But SAP is saying, whatever the formal parameters are there, always, always give the name starting with P. P, P means perform. Perform variable. If the variable, it is a PV. If the table, it is PT. So this way, how we need to follow the naming convention. So just see, these are our three formal parameters. So I will just simply, simply give the name. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am saying PV. PV means perform variable. I am writing PV underscore column position so that it will make you more more sense. Just see here. What is this one? One is column position. This one, this is your actual, this is the actual, actual parameter value. It will pass to this formal parameter value. Now, what is the second? Second is your PV underscore field name. So, just see, this is our actual. What is the actual? VBELN. What is the actual parameter value? VBELN. This actual parameter value, we are passing to this formal parameter. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing is your text. So, I will simply write PV underscore text. If you are following or not following, it will not make any difference. But we should always, always follow what is recommended by SAP. So, what SAP is saying, whatever the formal parameters of the subroutine are there, always give the name starting with P. If it is variables, go for PV. If they are tables, go for PT. These are our variables, variables as of now. Just see what are those three things? Your position, your field name and labels. These are our just like variable. Now this is our internal table. So I will double click and I will write P, 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 P. perform table. Now just see. The type, what is the type of LT field cat? LT field cat is of this particular type. It means this particular actual parameter. This is your actual parameter. What is the type of this actual parameter? This is the type of this actual parameter. It means what will be the type of formal parameter? The formal parameter PT has the same type as that of this LT underscore field cat. LT field cat is of this particular type. It means PT underscore field cat has the same to same type. So I will simply write type name of the table type. I will use the word. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the creation of the subroutine. We when we all know whenever we are going for subroutine, the first word is perform. We gave some name to the subroutine. We have three using and one changing. We double clicked on to the name of the subroutine. Now, after that, it is totally our wish. We want to create a separate include program in which we have the form and end form, or we want to go in the main program itself. We saw both the ways. After that, we covered, yes, this, this thing, whatever the parameters is with perform, they are called as actual parameter. You can see 
these are your actual values these are your actual parameters now whenever you will double click and whatever the parameters are with form they are called as formal parameters after that yes we simply simply covered that what is recommended by sap whatever are your subroutine variables go for pv whatever the subroutine tables go for pp in the next video what we will do we will simply simply cut this logic and paste into this subroutine same thing we will do for all the six all the six things of the all the six columns of the field catalog so that's it in this particular video thank you